Um, the power team were known for people who would like show these feats of strength to be able to, and then tell a gospel message at the end of it all. You need to be on a power team. Second Kings 5, verse 2, it says, And the Syrians had gone out by the companies and had brought away captive out of the land of Israel a little maid. And she waited on Naaman's wife, and she said, She served, so she said. She served, so she said. I want you to understand that everywhere you are called to serve is also a place that you are called to speak that you have something to say that it will change the atmosphere. You have something inside of you to say that will change things. Whatever job you're on, you're like, this isn't a job that I want. I didn't ask if it was the one that you want. Wherever you are at, you are there to serve and you are there to speak. You are in a family to serve and to speak. That there are words that the Holy Ghost will put on your heart to change the atmosphere. That's a part of what it means to be on a power team. Hallelujah. She served, so she said. She served, so she said. You're an atmosphere changer. Even if you don't, want, if you don't like where you're at, let's, let's not pretend that this girl is where she wants to be. This is a girl who they have come in, conquered her territory, maybe burnt down her house, stole her away from her people, and now she finds herself over here, and she's like, this is not the optimal position for me to be at. But if I'm here... I am here to serve and I'm here to speak. And I'm going to see even the atmosphere change in an unwanted situation. Most people wouldn't see Le Naaman's leprosy because he'd hide it. He put on his metal-laden uniform. He put on everything and hardly anyone would notice it. It was only the people that he allowed to be close enough to him that would see the issues that were in his life. And this is why it is so important for us to have people that are close to us because we need people to see the areas and the issues that are in our life and believe with us for change. Here she is and she was close enough to know the issue. You know, too often people come to church and they try to cover their butt. They hide behind a smile and a big Bible and all that type of stuff and they, you know, pretend like, oh, it's okay, everything's good, everything's wonderful, well, that's great. But here's the thing, is that no one's really going to know how to speak to you and how to, to, to pray for you and how to stand with you if you're not allowing them to be a part of your power team. That's why I say all the time, I say, where you go to church is a matter of life or death. And I know.